Okay, so this is another test between the Cyber Commander and the Sekonic L358. Uh, I previously, I just sent, got this back from Policy Buff, and after having spoken with them, because my light meter was, wasn't metering properly. So now, I'm going to go ahead and redo the test. But first, I need to show you the setup. <clears throat> so again, it's 50 inches up from the ground to the light meters, 8 feet across, and 50 inches up to the Einstein with the 7.5 reflect inch reflector. The CSX CV is on top, and we're going to go ahead and run these tests. So again, I had, as I was mentioning earlier, I had sent in the Cyber Commander because it was getting exposure locked, and since it came, the Cyber Commander has come back to me, I found that it's no longer freezing up on that. So I'm guessing Policy Buff's uh, repair department went ahead and replaced a component or downgraded something. But anyway, let's rerun the test and uh, let's show you what the light meters, how accurate they are. So anyway, let's go ahead and show you the information here. Uh, the sync speed is 1 to 50th, uh, the ISO is 100, and the Einstein over there is at minimum power. So here we go. So right now we're getting F1 and 8 tenths, and Cyber Commander is metering at F1.4 and 1 and 7 tenths. So 1 and 8 tenths, 1.4, pretty close. And there we go, F1 and 8 tenths and F1 and 9 tenths. So right now the light's pretty hard, I mean the light is pretty hard to meter because it's at such a low power. But if you get, if I raise the power level, I'm sure I'll get more consistent exposures. You also have to remember there's a lot of ambient light going in. But at 1 250th of a second, ambient light shouldn't really matter. So, let's keep going. <coughs> 1.4 and 3. And 1.4 and 2. 1, 3. So again, the C Cyber Commander and the Sakonic are not too far apart from each other. And so far this test has been going well. So now we're getting F1.4 and 7, and the Cyber Commander is getting F1.4 and 8 and F2. Again, previously I had run the test and noticed that the Cyber Commander was getting exposure locked. This was before the repair, which is, uh, it would get exposure locked at certain meterings. So at F1.4 and 9 tenths, uh, it would freeze and it wouldn't meter until the next light would change or drastic light settings would change. But now it's repaired and we're back on track. So now we're at F2 and 5 tenths, 4 tenths. And the Cyber Commander's pretty much keeping up. So let's keep going. So we're now metering F2.8 and 4, 6. And I will not pick up that phone because I'm running a video. <laughs> Anyway, let's keep going. So now we're getting F4 and 6 tenths, F4 and 9 tenths, and we're going to keep going. So moving this up closer, here we go. We're getting F8 and 4 tenths, F8 and 5 tenths, 6. And you can tell that the light meters are pretty close together. There is a slight offset to it, and this slight offset will definitely affect the metering. So. Because these are so close, or the meterings are so close, it's not too big of an issue for me. As long as they're within one or two tenths stop of each other, then I have no issues. So now we're metering and getting F22 and 6. Cyber Commander is keeping up at F22 and 1, 3, and so is uh, the Sakonic as well. So F22 and 4, F22 and 3. And last but not least, let's shove these right into the reflector and see what we get. F22 and 8, F32, F22, F32, and the Cyber Commander is metering F32 as well. And just for giggles, let's go ahead and meter something different. Let's meter the PLM right there. So let's go ahead and switch channels. It's on channel 1. And let's keep going. So 
Now this psychonic is meaning F2, and Cyber Commander is meaning pretty close as well. So that pretty much concludes the test uh, between the Psychonic L358 and the Cyber Commander. I can now officially uh, retire the Psychonic, probably sell it since the Cyber Commander has effectively replaced everything that the Psychonic can do. I mean, obviously, the Psychonic has more features if you wanted to integrate the Pocket Wizard system, but since I'm committed with the awesome Einstein system, it doesn't make sense to have two light meters unless I really wanted to do more studio work. But right now, since it's a home type studio setup, uh, this the Cyber Commander will work for me, and that is pretty much it. I'll probably be doing an ambient test later, and but yeah, that is pretty much it for now. So thanks for watching.